Hi, I'm Geraldine Herbert. I do the motoring on the Pat Kenny Show and I'm here to answer some of your questions, your motoring related questions this morning. Looking for a family sized hybrid, what would you recommend for a budget of 25,000? Okay, 25,000. I don't know whether you want to go new or second hand. If you went new, you could actually go for something like the Toyota Corolla. Now, it sounds like a kind of compact car, but it's not. It's actually the new version is actually very big. Um, it's about the size of the old Avensis. If you were looking for second hand, you could look for maybe a Hyundai Ionic. Um, or what you could look at is if you're looking for a plug in hybrid and they're very good on kind of short journeys, they're very economical, you could look at the Mitsubishi Outlander. I don't know what you'd probably get maybe a 2016 for that. Hi there, I'm looking for a small economical car to use around the city. It must be small enough that it's easy to park and suitable for city driving. But I also leave the city most weekends, so it needs to be up to motorway driving. My budget is about €8,000 and I'd like someone with a bit of style too. Any, any ideas? You're not asking for a lot then, you're looking for style as well. Okay, um, in terms of 8000 it's not a huge amount of money, but you could still get a decent Fiesta, a Clio, they're stylish. Um, you really have a lot of choice in that market. There's a Polo, um, a Skoda Fabia. I would look at something like that. I wouldn't be too caught up on style because if you go style, you might have to spend a lot of money and it might be a much um, older car and you really don't want an older car. I would say as well, because your budget is quite tight, make sure that you get it and make sure it's up to, the NCT is up to date. Make sure that you do a history check and get as complete a service history as you can and just make sure because you're going to be doing those kind of outside of the city driving that it's reliable and you're getting what you pay for. Is an automatic car more fuel efficient than gear stick? I've never driven one and someone recommended I switch to automatic for an easier life. Automatic definitely will give you an easier life and if you do a lot of stopping and starting in traffic it's ideal for that because it literally drives itself. Um, I would say you need to look for a newer automatic if you're going to get fuel efficiency. Some of the older ones weren't as fuel efficient as manual cars but now the, uh, the more modern ones are just as fuel efficient. So yeah definitely it's worth trying. I have a budget of about 20,000. I do a lot of mileage and I'm thinking of either an estate or an SUV. Any ideas of what might be a good option and should I consider a PCP? Um, okay, first off, a PCP is not an option if you do a lot of mileage. PCPs are designed for people who do very little mileage, really. They need to be under 15,000 kilometres a year normally. Um, in terms of an SUV or an estate, it really comes down to, to personal preference and space. Um, SUVs is a great choice because they're very popular at the moment. Also, because they're popular, um, there's good resale value on them. They're also higher up, so you get that good visibility. Um, the benefit of an estate is that you get loads of cabin space, you get loads of boot space, much more than you would in an SUV then also for some drivers they're lower down so actually that makes them nicer to drive so really it's up to you what your needs are in terms of recommendation you do high mileage so you'd be looking at diesel I'd look for a Skoda um, Octavia Combi that's their estate if I was looking at an SUV um, Hyundai Tucson because they've, they've sold so well there's lots of them out there or another one you should get uh, should consider is a Skoda Yeti it actually topped the pole in the most reliable car in the NCT last year so always worth a good uh, choice Okay, that's it. Thank you.